Did it, you know how big the rivalry was between Celtic Rangers, especially nah. when you played the flute? Fucking hell. When you I got mean, the death threats? F- oh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Ian Ferguson, that was. <laughs> he just said, you know, if you score, do the sass. You know, and what's a sass? He says that, and he showed us. He says, the fans that love it. When he said that, and he says, the fans that love it, and I went, ooh, I'll do anything for the fucking fans, me. And obviously scored against Stoke Bucharest, and I did it. So I, I scored, and on the way home, I told my dad, my dad, get the papers, I'm on all the fucking back pages, man, I scored, got man a match, scored, Stoke Bucharest, I said, fucking get the back pages, you, you love them, give the papers to me mum as well. So I've got up, and I went to the fucking, I went to the papers, and on the, the side bit where you're selling papers, I'm like, fuck me, I'm on the front page, shit. I went, Dad, fuck me, I don't think I'm in the back pages, but I think I'm on every other <laughs> fucking page. The IRA are going to kill this man. And he just giggled. He says, you'll be all right. And then when I got that letter through, and I read it, and Walter read it, he says, you think he's going to kill us? Well, I think so. Fucking hell. And I said, get the police, and then the police come. And I says, have you seen this letter? Is he serious? I mean, the guy left his name, number, mobile, house address, and a lot. So he's going to kill us. The cop went, yeah, he's going to kill you. So we went over and seen him. I waited two doors, two days, I stayed in doors. And I was shit myself. And um, the police come and I said, did you see him? I said, yeah. And um, I says, what's, what, was he going to kill us? They went, yeah. I said, fuck me, what are you going to do about it? They went, nothing. I says, until he comes to the, our country. So we're not going to hang around the airport. So when I used to play, I used to look in the crowd and fucking look to see if anyone's got a gun and that. So it was, went on for a few months. I was shit myself. And then obviously I got a letter back from him. He says, okay, you've not... Do- don't it for a while, I'll let you go now. And <laughs> I could relax then. I'm like, and Fergie, I went, you stupid bastard. <laughs> yeah. yeah but they giving you something to check under your car for bombs. Yeah, I'll tell you, the police come. So I say, six o'clock. And I says, what's that? He says, check under your car for bombs. I says, what? If the car starts up, he says, yeah. And I went, fucking hell. And uh, he says, be careful with your mail. If you open it, it could explode in your face. And I was like, really fucking panicking. So I used to get me mate, Jimmy. So Jimmy... Go and take his, he drives into work. I'll just have a cigarette at the moment. And I used to wait for fucking Jimmy to start the car up to see if it blew up or not. And I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like 300 yards away. I'd be like 300 yards away. Mm-hmm. Gaza, what are you doing? I'll just have a fag. Start the fucking car up. 